good, y'all. El Famous living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. You heard? Let's get it, B. Let's get it. Now, word on the street is Blue Boy back in prison. You heard? Yeah. The world famous Blue Boy. You heard? The crib dude that killed Larry Davis. You heard? Yeah. He back in prison after serving 39 years. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And they saying that he, he back in prison less than a year for shooting a man. You heard? Yeah. Shooting a man. Now, the first person that broke the story was 10 toes down. You heard? 10 toes down. Shout out to you, 10 toes down. You're doing your thing. You heard? Yeah. You're doing your thing. And, um... First person that broke the story was 10 toes down. You know what I'm saying? He said Blue Boy was on the run and this and that, that and this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening, I'm looking at it. So I, I, I went right to the internet. You know what I'm saying? I tried to find anything on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, this nigga Blue Boy back locked up. This nigga Tim wouldn't said that if it wasn't true. So boom, I started looking for anything on it. You heard? But I couldn't find nothing on it. You know what I'm saying? So you heard? A couple days went by. I realized it was true because... It, um, Tim didn't get back up there and say it wasn't true And he didn't take down his video I didn't see So basically So now basically I'm like oh this dude got locked back up But I wasn't I wasn't shocked I wasn't shocked Because when he came home If you go back to his Vlad TV um, Vlad interview I was all in the comments B. I was all in the comments B. You know what I'm saying I did not respect the fact That he killed Larry Davis And he, he up on TV you know what I'm saying? Basically bragging about it. You know what I'm saying? I did not respect that. And I still don't respect it. You heard? But that's his truth. You heard? That's what he got to live with. You know what I'm saying? By him doing that, Vlad TV, he opened himself up. He opened up the door for anybody to try to test him. Anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because... There's a lot of people that ain't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that ain't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just talking... You heard like I'm not just feel, I'm feeling not feeling that he killed Larry Davis. I'm not feeling that because I know the Larry Davis family. I grew up with some of the Larry Davis family. Yeah. You heard? Shouts out to Helena. Shouts out to Marky. Shouts out to Dashi. You heard? But Marky and Helena was my peoples. You heard? Marky, man. I don't know if you remember me, man. Last time I seen you, we was in 44th Precinct. The old 44 precinct on the west side, you heard? By the, you know what I'm saying? By the Major Deegan, you heard? And you was getting locked up going up north for that first bid, you heard? And me and you was getting locked up together, you heard? You was getting locked, I think you was getting locked up for a tip murder or something, and I was getting locked up for some petty shit. I was getting right out, you heard? But I remember that was the last time I seen you, Marky. Yeah, you see a little man from 145, you heard? They used to tell me, yo, give you $2, give you a dollar, you'll beat up anybody for me. Yeah, my man Marky, Larry Davis' nephew, you heard? 145 days. Anybody that know, they know, you heard? So salute to you, Marky. I heard you home doing good, you heard? You know what I'm saying? And um, Larry Davis is his uncle, you heard? And um, when we was in school, that joint with Larry Davis had just happened with the police, you know what I'm saying? So, you know... And I remember when they was looking for Larry Davis, you know what I'm saying? All over the news, he was in the newspapers. He was the most talked about person, you know what I'm saying? In in New York, you know what I'm saying? On the street, you know what I'm saying? And I remember being a kid, but I still remember police on the manhunt for this guy, like, 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 like he killed the president, you know what I'm saying? Like he killed the president. They wanted this dude, you know what I'm saying? And Everybody was glued to the TV, glued to the news, you know what I'm saying? Waiting to hear what was going to happen with Larry Davis, you know what I'm saying? And um, he wound up getting locked up, boom, boom, going to do his time and all that, and this and this and this and that. Now, let me tell you something about Larry Davis and his crime, you heard? It's quite ironic that, you know, Larry Davis... The dude Colin Ferguson, um, certain dudes, when they went to prison, they said that they turned into pieces of shit. You heard? They said that these dudes turned into pieces of shit. They said Larry dude, Larry Davis was in Comstock. He was throwing shit on dudes. He was 
snitching on dudes. You know what I'm saying? He was doing a whole lot of stuff. But my thing is, what was dudes doing to him to make him do things like that? You understand what I'm saying? Because as I see it, Larry Davis is the political prisoner. When I say political prisoner, I'm talking about he's in prison for shooting police. You heard? He's in prison for a high profile case. He's one of the most hated persons in prison, Larry Davis. So how come the inmate or the convict population didn't embrace him? You understand what I'm saying? Is it because the police run the joint? Because I'm a, I don't care what them prisoners tell you or how them prisoners get down. You heard? The police run them joints. You heard? And then you got prisoners that they play puppy to, to police so they can have a good bid, so they can live good. You got dudes that play good with police for different reasons. So they could keep metal, they keep their metal hot pot. So they could always keep their super three. You know what I'm saying? Because the Super 3 might be banned from the jail. The metal hot pot, hot, hot pot might be banned for the jail. But they, if they got one, certain COs will let them keep it. So, in turn, they might be the porter, so they do certain things. So, when you get a bug out on the company, you heard flooding his cell, doing crazy stuff. You heard the COs be having a, having a way... I'm making the prisoners, you know what I'm saying, not mess with a dude. Like, if the COs don't want you to mess with a prisoner, they know how to do it. They know how to do it. They know how to get in each prisoner head. They know how to cater to a prisoner to make a prisoner, you know what I'm saying, basically do their job for them. Yeah. So, it, it always rubbed me wrong that ever since I was in prison, if you bring up Larry Davis name, dudes will be like, ah, fuck it, ah, no, 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 You never heard this from cops. You always heard this from inmates, prisoners. You heard? And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been in prison. A lot of prisoners and inmates, them niggas can't be trusted, B. Them niggas can't be trusted, man. Them niggas can't be trusted, B. You know what I'm saying? So now, Back to Blue Boy. He does 39 years, right? He stabs up Larry Davis. You heard? Now, they said Larry Davis died because the police, he didn't get it, he didn't get the medical attention that he was supposed to get. You heard? They left him on the floor to bleed out. You know what I'm saying? They do that a lot. They do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? They do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? They don't like a certain inmate, a certain prisoner. They take a, they take their time to get to him. You heard? They take their time to get to him. So that's why Blue Boy got a low bid for killing Larry Davis because he was. I guess his team was able to prove that um, Larry Davis ain't die from him getting stabbed, from him stabbing him. He died mainly because he didn't get no medical attention. And who's in charge of getting medical attention? The police. So that them whole that whole circumstance with Blue Boy stabbing Larry Davis and all that, all that is controversial. I've been in prison. I've been around them COs. I've been around them inmates. You heard? All that joint is controversial. None of that is an open and closed case. None of it. So then they let the man home 39 years later. Now, first, let me tell y'all something. I got a lot of comrades that did a lot of time. You heard? My man D Boss, he did 20 years. My man Frazier did 27 years. You heard? Um, my man Naeem did 20 something years. You heard? This person did 20 years. This person did 25 years. You heard? Half of them dudes on the internet did 20 years and better. You understand what I'm saying? So, in the in the history of doing time, 
you got mad dudes that did mad time. You heard? But guess what? A lot of those brothers, if not 95% of those brothers, came home with a plan. They came home saying, I ain't going back to that prison cell. You heard? I just did 20 years. I just did 25 years. I did 27 years. What? I ain't going back to prison like that. You heard? And all of them dudes is home, working, got record companies. They doing party promoting. They doing this. They doing that. They doing stuff with the youth. All kind of stuff. You mean to tell me that that brother, after doing 39 years, killing Larry Davis, doing this, doing that, that he couldn't do nothing else with himself? He couldn't do nothing else with his time. You heard? Except for embrace that crip stuff and then, you know, flood the airwaves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I killed Larry Davis. I killed Larry Davis. Yeah, I stabbed him like this. I stabbed him like that. You know what I'm saying? I never liked him. This and that, that and this, this and that, that and this. I had a problem with that interview, man, that he did on Vlad, man. You heard? Because he was he was basically throwing it in people's face that he killed Larry Davis, man. And if you don't care, why do why do you care that he killed Larry Davis if you don't care about Larry Davis? You know what I'm saying? So it brought out a lot of people in the comments, bigging them up, going at other people that had an opinion. If a dude says something about Blue Boy, even if right now, if you say something wrong about Blue Boy, you're going to get a thousand dudes coming at you. Yo, uh, uh, Blue Boy will stab you up. Blue Boy will kill you. Blue Boy, you you don't, you don't go gun to gun with Blue Boy. Yo, this, yo, that, yo, this. Yo, Blue Boy had the blood shook. Yo, Blue Boy had niggas up north go up scared to death of him. Yo, Blue Boy, yo, Blue. Y'all did not help to that man being successful out here, man. Dude should have been in that comments saying, yo, blue boy, man, yo, denounce that crip stuff, man. You too old for that. Yo, blue boy, man. Yo, be out, stay out here and be a law abiding citizen instead of going to work in a dispensary or wherever you was working at. Why don't you go get a legit job where you not around criminals or that type of lifestyle? But no, that's what comes with the clout. You heard? The clout of killing Larry Davis and being a big crip. You know what I'm saying? This man is older than me and he's still claiming crip. I told y'all and I tell y'all all the time in my stories, I left Bloods alone. I left Bloods alone back when I was like 25. You heard? Yeah, 25. I had the coverage I had the I had the mindset, and I said, man, I'm out of that gang shit. That shit is whack. Them dudes is bozos. These dudes is holding me back. I ain't going. I ain't gonna go home messing with these dudes, man. So why would a dude that's older than me did 39 years come home and still want to claim a gang and be around people half of his age? Let's get. Let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Why? For clout. Now, clout got him back in that prison cell. And New York don't have a, a lot of self-defense laws on, on the books. So you got a lot of dudes. They like, oh, he did, he, he did this out of self-defense and this and that. Really? Y'all don't even know what he locked up for. But y'all already got a narrative of why he's locked up to try to clean up his image on YouTube. Instead of just saying, yo, man, that nigga's ridiculous, B. He's ridiculous for doing 39 years after killing three people and they let him out. And he's still in around the same element. He's still hanging around the same people. Is he crazy? Yeah, he's crazy. You heard? And it's a thousand, it's thousands of them dudes in jail. Thousands of them dudes in jail. 
it's dudes like that that was making it hard for dudes to come home. Because that's why when dudes was going up to that board, 100 dudes go to the board this month. 95 dudes get hit. 95 dudes get hit. And this was going on in all the prisons. And the only time that it changed, it changed when Elliot Spitzer got in office. That's why they got him out of there so quick. Because when he got in office, he started sending a lot of dudes home. And he started closing a lot of prisons. And a lot of the prisons that he was closing, they was in Republican territory. And the Republicans was furious. And they wasn't going for that. So they got that dude out of there. But I guess he put people in position that was still letting dudes go. Because dudes like that messed up work release, all of that stuff. Remember they used to have work release? You come out, work for work for five days, and you go in for two. Yeah, work release. That joint was a joint. That joint was reconnecting a lot of dudes with their family and and, and, and and helping dudes um get to um migrate to the, um to society. You heard? But they deaded that because dudes was coming home, committing robberies, committing rapes, killing people on work release on work release. So they deaded that. Now dudes, now then it came out with dudes got do 60% of their time. That's a CR. 60% of your time. And if you mess up, you're going to do 85% of your time. And if you really mess up, you might max out. <laughs> they don't care. You know how many people I know that maxed out? That's why I was surprised that the blue boy came home. I'm like, how they let that nigga home? But he came home. In less than a year, he's right back. So we're going to see how this joint going to play out. You heard? We're going to see how this joint got going to play out. You know what I'm saying? He's already getting a lot of supporters online. Yo, blue boy, free blue boy, free blue boy. I say free blue boy because I I don't want I don't want a man in prison. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. When it comes down to people being knuckleheads or people just being sh straight up naive or stupid, but they claim that they're supposed to be so real and so dangerous, you heard? I don't feel nothing about him going back to prison because, like I said. Anybody that do 39 years supposed to disappear. You know what I'm saying? Off the scene. He didn't disappear. He hit the he hit the stage. You heard? He hit the stage and he ran with it. And he had he had more help than a lot of my friends. You heard? Like I told you, my, my man Frazier, he did 27 years. He he working, got his own record label, got a few artists, all that. He chilling right now. My man on um, Boss Baby, he did 20 years. He got his own record label. He out there party promoting. He chilling right now. I know a lot, whole bunch of other people that's chilling right now. Blue Boy ain't the only dude that did 20 something, 30 years. You heard? It's a lot of dudes that did a lot of time. But they also know that they did a whole bunch of time that they should that they didn't that they didn't have to really do. So now that they got their freedom, they ain't trying to never go back to jail. They not even trying to put themselves around people that's going to help them go back to jail. They not trying to alliance align themselves with no gang, no crew, no nothing that's going to send them back to prison. So. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel sorry for Blue Boy, man. You heard? Because if Blue Boy was the average dude on my block that did that, did a whole bunch of time and went back to jail, he didn't even have to do 39 years. He could have did 10 years and went back to jail. He El Fulio. That goes for anybody. They El Fulio. You got dudes on the internet crying now. 
because they they whole life was spent in prison. You heard? It sounds different when your whole when you done spent your whole life in prison. You heard? And you never gave yourself a chance to change your life. It sounds different. I'm telling you. See, you talking to a dude that changed his life and been home 20 years. You heard? Yeah, I had my bumps and bruises, but not no crazy joints, not no felonies. You know what I'm saying? I got caught for misdemeanors and doing this and doing that, but not no felonies. Not nothing that's going to send me away. So. Me being sorry for Blue Boy. It's not, it's not, it's not in my books, B. I ain't, I don't feel sorry for him. You heard? You know what I'm saying? That man could have made better choices. You heard? He older than me. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't on Vlad TV to give up that Larry David story to the kids to stay out of prison. Because he was up there with a Crip bandana on. You know what I'm saying? And we, we all know that them gangs right now, they killing our kids, man. You heard? Them jail cells is getting um getting full up with our kids. Not them white kids, not them um Chinese kids, not them other kids, you heard? Not no Arab kids and all that. Who in prison? Black kids, Spanish kids. You heard? Black and brown. You heard? We got to change the narrative, B. You heard? So before I do say free a do, know what a dude about, man, before you saying free a do, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the dude that you saying free, could fuck around and take somebody in your family life. You heard?